Hi, I'm Kristen, and um, today I've got a really big fabric haul for you. Um, mostly from eBay, a little bit from Etsy, uh, a little bit Moda scrap bags that I got for Christmas, <laughs> and um, also a surprise fabric package that I got in the mail, which was really cool. So um, I actually haven't done uh, an eBay fabric haul for a while. And that's not just because I didn't record them and put them on the channel. I actually haven't been doing that much fabric shopping, so I've been trying to use what I have. Um, it's not that I'm running out now, <laughs> but um, I don't know. I had a day, I had a look, and I found stuff. So let's get into it. The first thing I found, which kind of, I guess, broke the seal on my fabric buying in 2022, is this bag. Sorry for the rustling. It's all William Morris fabric. So I guess it was somebody stashing I don't know it was like I'll put it on the screen what it was uh, I think it was 20 I think I remember 21 fat quarters and then there was either two or four half meters and then some bits I think is what it was basically so it's lots is lots um, and there's lots of different colors so there's I don't know the name of everything I think there's some strawberry thief in here somewhere which is the one that I know the name of um, but anyway, I'll try and show you some of them, and I'm going to tell you in, in a little bit the idea I have for these, um, which is going to go with some of the other scraps I bought. So that's the black. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so there's a mix of colors. This one's got purple, kind of artichokey looking. Some of you are going to know the name of these, and I'm sorry, I don't know the names of them all. I really like this one. Um, kind of a bright purpley one and there's another scr scrap I think so that's like a smaller piece of the same um, let's see there was quite a few of these well, maybe those are different yellow oh here's this here's the strawberry thief this is in purple And then there's these ones that are like, oh, I'll just hold them all up like this. They're kind of, they've got a print, but they're kind of monochrome in one color or the other. You know, they're going to read like that color, right? And there's a few more scraps like that. Oh, there's another little tiny thing of the blue, just blue, plain blue strawberry thief. I've never seen that before. Um, so I think some of the, some of the salvages, um, say Barbara Brackman on, so I don't know if that's a reprint or what, but anyway, they're, they're William Morris or William Morris-esque or whatever. Um, there's that one, some more kind of beigey ones. These are the little scraps. So I guess, I guess it was somebody who was doing a project with a bigger, um, bigger cuts and they've cut down where they can to a fat quarter or maybe they had fat quarters left over and this is what was left from the rest I don't really know um anyway this whole lot was 45 pounds plus postage I don't know what that is in U.S. dollars but let's call it 80 maybe 85 I'm not sure um so it's probably not the deal of the century but I think I tried to add up how much it would be to buy new and these, a lot of these just feel new. Um, and it seemed like a good bargain to me. And there's another kind of monochrome strawberry thief looking one. And a couple more. So there's loads of those, <laughs> basically. Um, and yeah, I didn't have a plan when I bought them. And I don't have a plan for all of it. But um, I'm going to show you what I bought next. And then um, show you how I think they could go together. Hopefully, we'll see. Um, so I love William Morris, but I have never made a quilt all out of William Morris fabrics. I've got a few more myself, um, bits and scraps and things like that, leftovers. So I could use that in my idea as well. But anyway, so that's that. That was the first thing. <laughs> and, then, and that just started me looking for more stuff. Right, so the next thing I bought was a, um, a bundle of tulip pink scraps. So... Some of you are already going to know where I'm going with this now. <laughs> so, um, again, I'm so I'm not 
one who knows the names of every, every fabric designer's lines and stuff because I buy kind of scraps and stuff. I can recognize some designers, but I'm not going to know the names of these prints. Sorry. Um, but I'll, I'll just show you what I got. So um, these are a few scraps of this one with the like dripping roses. Uh, I'll put the price of what I paid on the screen. I can't remember it right now. Um, but it was, it was bought as like somebody's off cuts. And then actually I think I bought two lots from this woman. So one was larger, two larger pieces of this, um, raccoon one. Some of you will know the name of this Oops. in, um, into, into, uh, into colors. That one. Um, and then and then just like off cuts and larger pieces. So, okay, this one is probably a good one to, I'm just, the scraps are falling everywhere, sorry. <laughs> this is a good one to maybe explain to you what I'm thinking. This one and, uh, and something like this one. So I think Tula Pink herself has said that some of her fabrics are sort of William Morris-esque or inspired by William Morris. I don't think that's a big secret. And I think you can kind of see the similarities. So I was thinking of, and I've got a few colors of different ones like this, and I'm going to show you something else I bought after this. <laughs> There's more to the pink of this kind. Um, so I was thinking of putting them together, basically. Uh, I want to do a quilt that's like in sections. So there's quite a number of, I'll show you the rest of the fabric in a second. There's quite a number of AccuQuilt dies that I haven't I bought but I haven't used yet and they're usually like the shape so like there's two kinds of triangles that I bought there's like um the drunkard's path uh there's the clamshells <laughs> all these kind of things that you're like oh I want to make a quilt like that um but like how many quilts can you make uh but I got a so backtrack before I was doing the quilt blogging and the being on YouTube and stuff like that I had a blog that was all about upcycling still have that still going. But anyways, uh, upcycle my stuff. Um, but a wallpaper company basically contacted me and wanted to send me some wallpaper for free for me to upcycle into some artwork. So I used some scrap uh, plywood and stuff and palettes and things. And I made these pieces of art out of their wallpaper. And one of them's in my living room and it looks like a quilt. <laughs> and it's got different sections of different shapes. And it's always made me think, well, why don't I do a quilt like that? I mean, not exactly like that. It's not going to be blue and white. It's not going to be narrow and horizontal and whatever. But um, so I was thinking I could kind of pick some fabrics. So like some William Morris and some Tula Pink and try and almost match them up or see which ones would go together and then do some a section of clamshells or triangles or uh, whatever. I'll think of a few others that I've always wanted to try and I haven't quite got to. And just do them for as long as I want to, basically, and make a section or as long as the fabric, until the fabric runs out. And then I'll knit it together and make it into a quilt. Not knit, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> like arrange it together and make it into a quilt. And I'll obviously try and write that up when I finally do it. But And I know there's probably patterns out there, and you're all going to suggest me <laughs> ones I could use. But, um, like, I'm allergic to patterns, guys. I've done a few of other people's patterns, and I just see the cutting instructions and I just want to, I just lose the will to live. I just can't take it. Um, so stuff like the farmer's wife quilt, which I've been doing, I can handle because that's like a block. So you're just doing a block. And the way I do it, I don't cut it in advance really. Um, but when it's like cut the fabric for the whole quilt, I'm like, no. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I'm thinking this might be a way where I could try a bunch of different techniques, but still make it kind of cohesive and not like just add to my pile of orphan blocks and things like that and so yeah so I was thinking Tula Pink and William Morris let's try and put them together that's what I'm thinking but I'm not going to use this is not all going to end up in this because for example um teacups and things so I think this is she had a line that was all about like Alice in Wonderland I so I don't know what it was called Mad Hatter or something like that I think maybe um some of them probably wouldn't end up in this um quilt that I'm talking about but anyway some of them would be appropriate and some I can use for other things like that. You know, you could fussy cut. It's just a little scrap. This is some more of the raccoons. This is the pink raccoons again. This is a big bit. So yeah, there was one, this was probably the one 
lot from this woman, and then the scraps was another lot from the woman. I will put the prices up. I mean, obviously, these are not things you can go and buy again, but just so you can get an idea if you went on eBay what you could maybe get for the money. And I've got a whole other video that's like nine ways that I buy cheap quilting fabric, which I'll link somewhere. Um, and if you're in the States, um, you're going to be able to find even much more than I can find, basically. Um, so there's some more. Oh, I already did I just show you these ones. Yeah, I'm going the wrong direction. Um, anyway, so that's that's essentially that scrap bag there. And then, <laughs> and then when I got when I had that idea in my head, I was like, oh, I don't know if those scraps would be enough to do a whole quilt with that. So then I went on Etsy and searched like tulip pink scrap bag, and I had to filter for the UK because again, um, there's not uh, as much um, in the UK as the US. So I got two scrap bags from this company called Always Busy Crafting. And she'll basically, she basically lets you pick the colors and stuff. So some of the ones in this one, I'm not sure are going to work for my idea, but this one for sure with the, um, the kind of owl butterfly thing. And even this pink, I think, could go with the William Morris thing. I'll put up again, like what the, how much it was on the screen. And I'll put a link to this woman's Etsy shop in the description for anyone who is in the UK. But if you're in the US, you're going to have no problem finding more, <laughs> more than I can of all of this kind of stuff. Um, so, and this, they, they have quite a mix um, anyway in these scrap bags. So it's quite good. You can just have little bits of, instead of buying, you know, a fat quarter bundle, which is super expensive and you might not need it all unless you're, you're going to do a whole tulip and quilt. Um, the other things that I didn't, so the, the rest of the stuff I didn't buy, the rest of the stuff was bought for me. So uh, my family know me. So for Christmas uh, this year, I got two Moda scrap bags from two different people. Um, this was the contents of one. I've already used one strip for a gift bag for someone's birthday because it was a lot of, um, I guess, travel kitty prints, I think. There's some, there's some planes, which will be super useful. Um, but there's like diggers and airplanes and so I don't know what fabric line this is because I actually there's no salvages on this one. Maybe somebody knows this. Um, oh, there are, but they're just they're on this end. So sometimes you sometimes when you get a motor scrap bag, I've done a review before, the salvage is down the edge. And so one, you don't get as thick a usable piece um, unless you want to use the salvages, which I do sometimes. But uh, but you can always see what the line is and this one it was cut the other way so I can't can't see what it was um, but anyway so it's I can see using I don't think I'm gonna use this all in the same thing I can see using this in bits and pieces of different things um, and and it was quite useful for so I used one of these I think it was a yellow version of this as the drawstring on a on a kid's gift bag basically and that so that oh I'm getting threads all over me um the other one I got was this one and again this oh sorry I'm just looking to see if I can see what it is on the salvage but I don't think I can again it was cut this other way um so this one's got some stars some hearts some numbers I like that one that black number one and then it's got a couple of different colors of these um starbursts and then berries and some more there's like some low volume with metallic on them and blocks of metallic on them some of these so some of these colors like they're not the beige and the maroons I wouldn't go for myself very often but I'm sure I can find something for them eventually um, whereas the brighter colors and the I think that one was that one. brighter colors and the blacks and the whites I would use so and occasionally I will there's a charity shop near me that actually has a crafting section and occasionally if I get something like this and I'm like I I can't see when I'm going to use that for example I might just donate uh, a little pile of fabric or something to them and somebody else can buy it so anyway so that's that and then the last bit of fabric that I received in the post I'm just covered in stuff now um so uh I think I said to you a video or two ago that I had left 
one of the coaching groups I'm in because I was in too many and there was too many like physical meetings and stuff. The one that I've stayed in, um, they, the woman in it who's been the friendliest to me also said that she is part of the Quilters Guild in the UK. So I think she told me that guilds are kind of arranged differently in the UK and the US. I'm a little confused to be honest. I'm still a beginner with all of this. But basically the group I'm in is like a local group in Edinburgh. And then there's this like more national guild. It's like the umbrella thing. But I'm not sure whether that umbrella one is really super associated with the guild. Anyway, it doesn't matter. But um, so anyways, I added a guild, that, but it's an online one. And, and it's a re- basically they have regional meetings. So they're only going to meet every quarter or something like that. So it's not going to be, uh, she said they sometimes have like good classes and things like that and discounts and stuff. So anyway, so I joined that and when they sent me my membership card, they also sent me two packages of fabric, Liberty fabric. Um, haven't opened up, up yet because it's so pretty, but <laughs> um, it looks to me like each one of them probably has four fat quarters in it. So it was a total bonus. I don't, and I think some, you know, one of them, that one could go in this quilt I'm talking about, although then it wouldn't be a strict William Morris to the pink mashup. But anyway, um, so that was a cool bonus. I don't know. I can't say that they definitely do this every time you sign up, but there was nothing even in the letter saying, enjoy your fabric. It was just in the envelope. Um, so I don't know if it's, uh, you know, just something they're doing now or if they do it every time. Maybe if you're in the guild, you can let me know. Um, so anyway, I've got loads more fabric that I probably didn't need because I've got plenty already. Um, so, but I'm going to, I think, start... As well as working on the whips, I'm going to um, start uh, thinking about this Tula Pink William Morris uh, quilt thing. So I can try some of these um, dyes that I haven't used before. If you want to kind of do it with me, um, I'm, there will be acrylic rulers and things that you can use to cut the shapes. You don't have to have a die cutter. So if you like that idea, but you're like, nah, I don't have a go cutter, <laughs> then um, don't worry about that. Um, I'll probably, an idea, if I, like I can't, yeah. If I decide I'm definitely doing this, um, then I would probably do like a video per section or something. And so when I do that, I'll try and have a look and see if I can find uh, a ruler or something or an acrylic template that would roughly be a similar size to what I'm doing so that if you wanted to do it along with me, you could do that. So um, I hope you've liked my um, fabric haul. If you want to see more, I have a whole eBay hauls playlist (laughs) that you can uh, have a look at. Um, it's my favorite way to buy fabric and it obviously got me started down a rabbit hole this week. Um, anyway, uh, I hope you have a good rest of your day. Uh, if you like videos like this, please don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, uh, give me a comment and let me know what you think or what you think I should do with some of this fabric. And, um, I'll see you again next time. Thanks for spending time with me.